So there's there's Zionists and there's white nationalists and there's there's black separatists or um the Nation of Islam types. And they all kind of operate in the same way. It's like our people are the chosen people of God. Our people are we deserve our own homeland to be secured for us. We have a birthright to the holy land where the holy people we are superior. We are the superior type of people. And um, everybody should basically be sent to a place where they're only surrounded by their quote unquote people because multiculturalism bad. And. We deserve our own state, basically. It's an eth- ethno state. Ethno state. Um, and Nick Cannon basically came out and said a bunch of things that uh, put him in that camp. So let's. Let's go to what it really is then. When we talk about the power of melanated people, when we talk mm-hmm. about who we really are as gods and, and right. understanding that our melanin is so... All right, I need to turn up the volume again. Is it okay for you guys? Like, can you hear him talking? Can you hear it? He's not loud. Is he audible? Hold on a second. That is like a... Maybe just like turn it back up a little bit. Oh. So let's let's go to what it really is then. When we talk about the power of melanated people. When we talk <laughs> about who we... Re- Wait, are the captions built in? Yeah, they are. Melanated people. <laughs> uh... He's, he 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 said melanated, which is a made up word. So let's let's go to what it really is then. When we talk about the power of melanated people, when we talk mm-hmm. about who we really are as gods and, and right. understanding that as our gods. melanin is so power and it connects us in a way that the reason why they fear black, the reason why they fear is because they the lack that they have of it. So then when you see what you know, Doctor uh, Francis C. Wellsman talked about is that. Fear in that 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 uh, just genetic that annihilation efficiency of mm-hmm. when you have a person that has ha, has the lack of pigment, the right. lack of melanin, right. that they know that they will be annihilated. So therefore, however they got the power, they 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 have what? the lack of compassion. Mm-hmm. That mel- melanin comes with compassion. What melanin comes with soul that mm-hmm. we call it. We call it soul. We soul brothers and sisters. That's the melanin that. Con- That's not because you guys have melanin. Right. So the people that don't have it have are are a little, and I'm, I'm gonna say this carefully, <laughs> are a little less, and and and, and where the term actually comes from, because I'm bringing it. people who don't have melanin are a little less white people bad guys. And all the way back around okay. to, to Minister Farrakhan, to where they may not have the compassion or the the when they were sent to the mountains of Caucasus, when they when they didn't have the power of the sun that was that the sun then started to deteriorate mm-hmm. them. So what the fuck do you, they didn't have the power of course the fucking sun was still in the sky. They didn't deteriorate. People Evolving into different ethnicities of lighter skin tones is not deterioration of people. So then they're acting out of fear. They're acting out of... I have news for Nick Cannon as well. There's more black people, or... 
there's more white people who just hate black people and just kind of want to kill them than there are that are afraid of black people. Like, Self-esteem. no one's scared of you, dude. They're acting out of a, a deficiency. Mm-hmm. So, therefore, the only way that they can act is evil. The only way they can... They, the they only to- way white people can act is evil. To rob, steal, rape, kill, and fight or flight okay. in, or, in order to survive. <laughs> exactly. So, then, these people who didn't have what we had... and when I- History is a conflict of races. That's Nazi rhetoric. I say we. I speak of the mm-hmm. melanated people. Right. They had to be savages. They had. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. When he says melanated people, is that even a thing? Melanin in white people. Melanin, Afrocentricity, and pseudoscience. All humans have similar amounts of neuromelanin, brain melanin. Um, so, yeah, everybody has melanin. It's not that white people don't have melanin. It's just a different pigment. Pigment. You're not melanated, bro. You're not special. Like, be barbaric. They had, because they're in these Nordic mountains, they're in these rough uh, torrential environment. Ooh, so. ooh. White people, white people can only act cruelly because they don't have melanin because the sun abandoned them and deteriorated them. And they, they have to be barbaric because they were in mountains. Bitch, do you not think there are mountains in Africa? Um, are you sure? Do you not, do you, like, do you not think that there's rough terrain in Af? Like, really, dude? Like, oh, the terrain was so much rougher that they just evolved into fucking savage. He's literally calling a savage. Like, what? They, they're acting as animals. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so they're the ones that are actually closer to animals. They're the ones that are actually... The true savages, and then they built themselves. <laughs> this, I want to say war. Oh! They're the true savages. Nobody is a savage because of their race, dude. No, there's no savage. Warrior, but they. There's no warrior gene. He's put. He's. White supremacists say the exact same thing about black people. They say the exact same thing about black people. They they literally say they evolved to be warriors and barbarians and savages. I want to say warrior. It's the same. It's the same exact take. It's the same exact take. It's the same shit. It's not even two different sides of the same coin. It's the same side of the same coin. Because what people fail to realize is that, like, ethnicity differences are on- literally only skin deep. Like, literally only aesthetic. That's it. There's no, like, literally any attempt to be like, oh, black people's skull shape makes them stupider. Oh, white people's lack of melanin makes them stupider is fucking pseudoscientific nonsense that only serves to divide people further from the actual enemy, which is the way that our systems are constructed, not people who are quote-unquote different than us. Like, aren't you more angry about the fact that we live in a world where black people are still oppressed in fucking America and over incarcerated and treated like animals and killed on the street with no immediate justice where it takes fucking rioting 
to bring justice to these murderers of black people in America? Aren't you more angry about that than about some fucking bullshit conspiracy theorist theory that some fundamentalist Muslim preacher taught you about how fucking white people have less melanin and therefore they're savage dogs? Like, like, where the f- what- are you not looking at what's literally happening in front of you? Are you not engaged in the way that the world is actually working in front of your eyes? Are you too busy coming up with some fucking bullshit conspiracy theory to make yourself feel, feel superior to other people so that you don't have to engage in the actual struggle and the actual work of making the fucking world better and fixing the systems that are the issue and not just other groups of individual people? Like, this, this is stupid shit. Like, this is brainlit takes. Like, like, and it's, the only difference between this and white supremacy is that white supremacy is institutionally supported. And inst like white supremacy in our country, in our society today, in our present times, is an institution. It it like overtakes every. It's like capitalism. It's like that. It's like a force. It's like it's like a part of the way our society is structured. Whereas black supremacy isn't. But that's the only distinction. Like like. There's no other different. They. It's the same exact worldview beyond that. It's just their difference is, like, lies in the fact that um, if you're a black supremacist, obviously you think that black people are superior. But if you're a white supremacist, ob obviously you think that white people are superior. But it's still the same worldview. Like, it's the same. Of such this... this conquering mm -hmm. uh, barbaric mentality that they're coming out of Europe they then said in order for us to survive we have to take what's not ours dude imperialism didn't start because Europeans are white imperialism started because that's where capitalism leads That's the part about all conspiratorial worldviews like this one as well, is the fact that, like, all conspiracies bring up money. They bring up systems, kinda. They bring up, they bring up exploitation of people. You know what the real, the real story is? You know what the real conspiracy is? You know, you know what the cure for all conspiratorial thinkers is? Literally read Marx. Like, literally just fucking read Karl Marx. It's not conspiracy theory that we need. It's critical theory. It's, like, the real conspiracy is the fact that the means of production are owned by a small few individual group of people who control the world and money is power because our system works that it's the system it's the way the system works not the way that people are innately because people aren't anything innately race doesn't exist race is a construct like gender is also a con like this is essentialist bullshit and i have like a big problem with it because it's like I feel like this ties into the third worldism nonsense. Like th this ties into the third world, this Maoist fuck fuck shit that pe like is like if if you believe that we should kick all the white people out of the America and white people are parasites and America is just a parasite state, then why wouldn't you believe that black people are superior because of their melanin and white people are just brutal dogs who were abandoned by the sunlight and can't can't act beyond anything but cruelty like why wouldn't you believe that it's like it goes hand in hand and i'm fucking terrified that that's what american socialism is going to look like black supremacist socialism and i don't know if i shouldn't be scared of that or not but like i like it it it's toxic shit it's 
it's it's fuck shit it's fucking gross like it's the same it's exactly like i want to just shake these people and be like dude richard spencer agrees with you he's just of a different race than you you realize like a real white nationalist they don't want to kill all the black people they want to send all the black people back to africa Which would involve, in reality, a lot of black people dying in the process. Because deportation is a genocide tactic. They know that people die in that process. Um, But, like, if you really want your own state where you can have, like, your God's country, then just team up with Richard Spencer and fucking do it. Like, like, honestly, like, Nazis agree with you. Like, you're not a fucking leftist. You're a fucking Nazi sympathizer, basically. And then they went into the land that actually where we were are originated. Mm-hmm. And instead of trying to make friends, they said, we want what you got. Because there's this mentality of the, whether it's the Caesars or, or even that, that, we have to conquer. Right, right, right. So I say all that to say the context and when when we speak... That mentality comes from capitalism. That mentality doesn't come from fucking being white. Does this guy... Has this guy never heard of, like, any invasion that's occurred by any country to another that wasn't a white country invading a black country like would this guy count Iraq and Afghanistan and his melanated people are those people melanated according to, according to Nick Cannon was that also the warrior gene of white people expressing itself it's fuck like Nick Cannon is a dumbass speak of whether it's Jewish people, white people, Europeans, the Illuminati. Mm. They were doing that as survival tactics right. to stay on this planet. Right, because we they, never had to do that. Right, right because <laughs> they've learned when they circumnavigated the globe and they ran into these islands and these places and we were already there to greet them. Right. With open arms. With open arms, teaching them, but then But when they, they were deficient. They were deficient, so they wanted to get what they thought we had, and we did have it. So the rape took place of the woman. Mm. The theft took place. What? Of the natural resources. And then that's when their their disease, exactly. that's where their mentality, because I'm trying to get to that place of how they were able to get control over the gods. How right, were they right, able right. to get control okay, over so their original Okay, so once they people. learned that, though, and now they in, raped and impregnated, left and came back, and they saw the child lighter, Mm. They said, wow, that's when they this learned genetics, mm. genetic annihilation. Mm. So now you have to set up a system okay. of white. Oh, my God, dude. They're trying to genocide us by bre- interracial breeding. Another Nazi talking point. I'm really going to be deficient after we get. Yeah, same, exactly. Supremacy to control that. Right. So now we have. 13 families here, Illuminati that's manipulating <laughs> the control. Subgroups. Now we got to set up organizations. Coming out of Europe. You understand what I'm saying? Right. In, for that same system, now you're talking about survival, what you just laid out. Now it's fight or flight. Now we have to set up these systems in order to survive. Right. But listen, not just survive to get some damn, um, some hamburger buns and some <laughs> cheese. <laughs> I'm talking. Jeff Bezos makes a million more bucks every time these people peddle their bullshit about how it's not really him who's the problem it's or the system that gives him so much power the problem it's the 13 families and the illuminati the jews like capitalists love this they love it they're like yeah keep peddling the nonsense so that the people don't eat us on a genetic level on a genetic because they will and that's even from the white nationalists to the white supremacy mentalities to Donald Trump himself wanting to build walls. Right. They're trying to keep their, what they consider purity. What exactly. They, on a subconscious. Yes, yes. 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 Sure. Yeah. Okay. Why do you agree with him then? Like, honestly. <laughs> 
Because sometimes because they don't know how they, why they're acting out. It, it's just been proven. It was National Geographic just put it out by, what, 2050. Uh-huh. Every person will be a person of color. In a minute. Now, they, they saying that's as soon okay. as 2050. <laughs> I didn't know the end of the video was that like weird, but who gives a shit? First of all, I don't care about fucking. Oh, ABL made a video about. <laughs> Should we watch that as well? <laughs> It never ends, guys. It never ends. Oh, and Rising is defending Barry Weiss. <laughs> I'm just some stupid 19-year-old college bitch who, who's, like, here talking about capitalism and why, why racial supremacy is stupid. And calling out grifters who change their political opinions on a dime, literally on a dime, given, like, the next donor that they're sent to and the next person they're sent to do a show with. And I I feel like I'm doing a better job than the goons on Rising. And fuck it, like... I have a better political acumen than Nick Cannon. Like, like... The world is upside down. It really is. It's, it really is. But I, like, is there anything else, like, specifically that I should debunk here? Or is everybody clear that that was a stupid take? Like, (laughs) then when we talk about the power, I feel like I could just keep going through it and have different different ways of tearing it to shreds but guys don't get confused don't get sidetracked don't get essentialist do not get divided it's the capitalist class loves it when we turn on each other based on identity characteristics they love that because that's the fascist way that's That's the way that preserves their power and diminishes the power of the people. Um, Because it keeps us from doing a real real revolution where we set aside these meaningless constructed categories and we learn about how we're actually oppressed and we unite as proletarians and as the working class as a collective identity that actually makes sense and that's actually based on a relationship to the means of production a relationship to the way society is constructed instead of that do you just want to group up into racial groups and throw stones like you know what i mean like That's what the fascists want us to do. They don't want us to unite as proletarians and learn and fucking bring about class consciousness and end racism and end bigotry and end capitalism and end oppression. That's not... They have a vested interest, literally, in preventing that from happening. And Nick Cannon and all of his... Everything he just spouted promotes that process including the rising with Sagar and his bullshit and the whole entire right wing populism thing with Tucker Carlson turning the people on me when they should be pointing their sights at him and his fucking boss and their donors it's this it's it's they're all like just the same types of villains like they're they're all enemies of class consciousness they're all enemies of the proletarian unification they're all enemies of communism and i've declared it 
Chairman Matty has declared that Nick Cannon is counter-revolutionary bourgeois trash who deserves to be ignored and ostracized from the professional world and polite society. (laughs) The decree has been made. Um, also, wait. I also should talk about the fact that these fucking these fucking black supremacist types and including obviously the white supremacist types, but like people like Nick Cannon and all of this like Louis Farrakhan for example, ooh, Lou, Louis Farrakhan, dude. Louis Farrakhan bigotry. The SPLC He blames Jews for the slave trade. And basically all black oppression. He told them to acknowledge the evils they've perpetrated. The Jews, a small handful, control the movement of this great nation. Like a radar controls the movement of a great ship in the waters. The Jews got a stranglehold on the Congress. Yeah, dude. Just like the Jews got a stranglehold on everything, huh? Um. But not even. Not even his anti Israel bigotry. He's also anti LGBT. LGBT and like anti trans and like anti-gay and um I have a feeling that the Maoist third worldist black black power gang is also trending towards that area uh and I don't fucking like that pedophilia homosexuality sex trafficking is the work of the Talmudists He thinks that my existence is a Jewish is a product of Jewish conspiracy. Um and so do all the white nationalists. And so do all the QAnon people, so do all the Trump tard Trumpist supporters and fucking that entire cult. Like, all this is is cult shit, guys. Like, all this is is cult shit. You're being manipulated into a counter-narrative to the actual narrative of liberation for you so that you can just stay a sheep. You're just in somebody else's pasture. Like, that's literally what you're... Like, that's all this is. You're, Nick Cannon has just joined Louis Farrakhan's pasture. <laughs> He's not... This isn't some grand discovery. He's he's just a dumbass. But like I want to make it super clear that I'm not I'm not more pro LGBT than I am pro black people. Like like I'm not I'm not more for my rights than his. I'm for everything. I'm against racism just as much as I'm against anti LGBT LGBT LGBT2 Fuck me, dude. Homophobia and transphobia, I guess we'll say. Um, the difference between us would be is that Nick Cannon is a fucking racist, unironically, towards white people. He's not against racism. He's a racist. And uh, in my opinion, in order to be truly anti-racist, you can't actually be a racial essentialist. You have to be against the whole idea that races even exist meaningfully to truly want to destroy racism. But clearly Nick Cannon and his his ilk do not think this way. Um, and they they think that trans people are just because of the Jews and gay people are just because the Jews and so yeah they're these are bigots 
I am anti bigotry. These are bigots. So I just I just want to make that like hundred percent clear to everybody. Um And I hope I hope we I hope I made the point. I hope I made the point well. I hope there wasn't any yikesy moments here. Um Read Capital. Even though I haven't read Capital yet. Read Capital. <laughs>